Bolton has just been uh, nominated, I think, in a poll in 2022. Probably uh, one of the worst places to live in the country. I think it came at number five out of the top 20. So hang on, um, so anyway, hang on I just thought there, I'd throw that there, in. So I haven't there... been to Bolton for a while, but... Please, so, Daryl. So, 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 hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Is there a north-south divide or not? Well, hang on. Be because on, hang on, because on the, hang on a minute. Because on the one hand, you're telling me that the that there is no north-south divide. That absolutely everything's absolutely fine. On the other, on there the other hand, no. you're telling me that Bolton is terrible. So, which is it to be? Make your mind up. Oh yeah. No, no. Uh, well, both really. I mean, there are terrible both places in the south. Terrible places in the north. Both you know, of those things. It just happened. I was talking to a caller. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Do you want to defend your hometown? Well, it was, it's was, not going to I become was... a city. It's never going to become a city. I noticed you put out on... Close your mouth. You look ridiculous sitting there with your mouth open. Um, I noticed you put out loads of tweets today of all the beauty spots around Bolton. Which we could find yeah. those around every town. There's lovely every countryside town. around Bolton. Yeah. No, actually, well, well, three of those pictures yeah. were, were of the town centre, actually, James. So um, they were pictures of one, Bolton. One of Bolton is a lovely place. It's got problems. It's got socio-economic issues. Yes, it has. But the idea, but this idea what that you, you socio what does that mean? No, no. Sorry, do you, you want to explain that to you? No, sorry, I don't social. Know what that means. Yeah, that James. So, sorry, that. Do you mean that people are too lazy to get a job? Is no, that what you're sorry, saying? No, sorry, that's hard for you to comprehend. But socio-economic issues are. Uh, uh, social Not problems, social problems, James. <laughs> economic problems, right? They are things that lead yeah. into people Why? having experience in poverty. Why? Or, well, a, a Why? Home. People Why? have poverty in the south as well. They but do. Why do. Why do they have problems? They do, James. And we're not going to die. And actually, uh, the, the, the north south divide. I'm thing, asking you a question. Why? Uh, Deindustrialisation. Hmm, the end of the industry. Deindustrialization. Yes. Happened a long, long time ago. Yeah. Why haven't they got out of it? Yeah, well, these things ricochet, don't they? They ricochet through uh, through communities and they ricochet through decades. And the fact of the matter is, James, that you are you well, are twenty you, you are yes. People actually people actually can get themselves out of it. I happened to be in Yorkshire during the miners' strike. And yeah, I'm so old, I know. I was on the radio every couple of nights. Arthur Scargo would come into the uh, studio. We'd mm -hmm. have a real old ding-dong about it. And I got a lot of threats then, more than I got from the anti-vaxxers. Uh, because quite frankly, you know, we didn't need coal mines. And we were better off without them. And now, of course, everybody agrees. But they rebuilt the areas, whatever anybody says. They rebuilt the areas. They brought in new industry. So if Bolton isn't doing so well... Like what? What new industry? Why haven't they done what, that? What new industry did they bring in in the, in the 1980s, in the 1990s? When they... In the early, in late 80s, 90s, when they... Well, they have all kinds the North, of factories what? and businesses. Factories, such they, as what? Well, we're not, we're not doing enough because people want more money. No, hang on. You said, you said, the they, you said they rebuilt them, James. What did they more. rebuild them with? Yeah. On foreign do. companies like, like well, they Japanese car companies, didn't they, they? People like that. Like what? they rebuilt them. That, like what? I'm just going to tell you if you sh put your hand down, it's aggressive. Uh, they or you're wanting to test somebody for I don't know testicular <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm just I ready actually, at any time. I actually think that the government gave a lot of grants to a lot of areas to bring them back and to help them replenish and renew. Now, there were a lot of people mm. um, in Yorkshire who didn't really want that to happen and still complained, but there were many more, of course, who did want to improve it and did improve it. Unfortunately, the unions got really nasty and a lot of people got very threatening uh, to those people you still who have, didn't you still agree with them. You still haven't told so, me what, what they rebuilt well, the North We've got Pete in Bolton who started this whole thing off Come yesterday. On, Pete come on, in Bolton and joined the man. conversation, joined the debate, Pete. My man, man, Pete. Pete. Hiya. Pete, get on with it. You caused all this, Pete. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, Sorry it's not causing it. I was just about... Oh, anyway, go on, Peter. Why, uh, why is Bolton not doing very well? Bolton is doing very well. Just some areas aren't. Why? Well, I, I would agree with that. Yep. I mean, everywhere has their good and bad part, parts of the country. Right. In London... You've got your bad areas. In the north, we have our bad. We, we, we've got, we've all got yeah. it. And yeah, I agree. There's no difference between poverty in the north or the south. Well, there, there, literally, really there, there literally is a difference between poverty in the north and the south. You are 20 times more likely to die young. Uh, I've got the receipts. I've got the facts. I'll just fire the well, facts. That's because of a bad diet. You're, you're 20% more drinking. likely to die uh, in the drinking, north of England. Uh, the first few years of austerity, northern cities and boroughs were 120 to uh, 150 to 200 pound per head worse off uh, than the than the west, mm. the southwest, and the uh, the south of England. The south of England received six times more per person for transport costs. 
costs mm. than the north of England. Unemployment rates are higher, wages are lower, deindustrialization that we've talked about have left job opportunities thinner on the ground. Uh, it would take something like £700 million to bridge the culture gap. You are more likely to access uh, culture and things that are um, uh, uh, drivers for uh, economic prosperity in the south of England. And, and let me give you this. This is the table, right, of the poorest and the richest places in northern Europe. A table of the the richest and the poorest places Carol, in northern Europe. The po the po hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, calm down, calm me, down. You're on the air in a minute. Let me listen tell you this. Let me, me tell you no, this. shut up and listen to me. West Midlands, no, no, Cornwall, listen to me. Durham and Queen's Valley, yeah, yeah. Lincolnshire, South Yorkshire, Fine. Shropshire and Staffordshire, uh, Lancashire, right. Northern Ireland, just East Yorkshire and North Yorkshire. A whole list of names. Nobody's listening. Shut Belgium. up and listen There's to me. There's warning Belgium, the rest Ellen. are in the north of England. Cut his microphone off and let Pete talk. If I get a word in... Go on, Pete. Yeah, go on. Right. OK. Portland has got some really, really historic places. Beautiful. All right. It's beautiful. Beautiful Dan. places. All right. Darrell will know. We've got Hall of the Wood, Rivington Pike, beautiful places. We have some bad places. I won't disagree with that. Uh, I'm assuming that London has got the same. And Kent, James. And Kent. Mm -hmm. You have some good places as well. But to say last I can night... I name a lot of things. Yep, and to say last night that Bolton was the scuffiest place that you've ever been to, I think was bang out of order. I agree. Yeah, well said, Pete. Well, well said. you can think what you like, but, it, you know... Uh, I, I oh, think it was a pretty Ash, scruffy place you, when I went. Ash, I bet you've been to some really scruffy places in your past. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been to all of them. Right? Tell us <laughs> one scruffier place than Bolton, Ash. Beautiful places. Merthyr Tidville. 